Hello everyone, welcome back. In last video, we covered persisted queries. How do we create persisted queries? And in this video, we will cover how do, can we use those persisted queries. Now, what we will do, we will create a reactivated application. We will create a new persisted query. And we will use that persisted query to see how do we get the response using React based application. Simple one. And this React based application, I'm not going to use the existing AEM, uh, um, the Maven archetype, but we'll see how can we create a very basic React based application and then we will invoke this persisted query. Let's create a new persisted query. So again, I will go to tools and I will click on GraphQL editor. I will select my own endpoint which we created in the previous video and here let's create a new query where first let's uh, book list items path title ISBN authors right and let's print some more data the book list is done let's uh, maybe authors list items and i'm using control space it's just auto suggestion author name enough we'll just run it and we are getting the data let's save it and this time let's say have it as query one my query one is saved and if I'll just copy this URL and I'll just so it's giving me the data perfect now <clears throat> this URL we are going to use it in our react based application so first we need to create a new react application so what we will do we'll go to our folder uh, let's create a new folder a react Let's go inside. <clears throat> and let's change the directory. Okay. And after that, we need to execute few commands. Nothing but, of course, we want to uh, create a React based application using Express Server. So, first, we will initialize our project. And for that, the basic uh, requirement is, of course, we need node npm latest version. So we just need to download it from the uh, from the website. After that, uh, once we have the node npm, just to make sure we have, uh, I mean, these are the basic ones. But again, we need to check the version, etc. I have 14.15, but I think latest is the more than I think 18 or something. So after that, we need to init initialize our project and if we just notice the package.json is created first step is done now we need to create one index.js which is uh, basically um, a route where you, we will go through our application okay so what we will do here i will create a new folder called uh, server And inside this server folder, I will create index.js. So index.js is created. After that, uh, index.js creation, we need to put some code and let's understand this code. But first let's modify this code. So what I will do just edit it and uh, I will just put this code here and I will make sure I will put this in the git and uh, I'll share the URL so this code says I'm using express server uh, and if we don't have express server then we need to run this uh, command npm i express if we have then well and good if we don't have we just need to run this npm i express so it will make sure we have the express server i'm using express server and i'm having this dependency i'm defining the port number where i'm running this server and in my case is 3003 this port i'm running on this server 
and then and then I'm defining my app. Now this app says there are two things. One is the, I'm just listening the port three zero zero three, and if uh, this port I'm able to listen, I mean my application is able to listen. I'm just printing uh, the console dot log, and in the sec in this one, uh, I'm saying this is the endpoint of my application on the uh, on the express server. And uh, the response is nothing but I'm just printing some JSON response. Simple. Okay, so let's save it. So so far we are good. And then we have we need to add the start script in the package dot JSON. Now what is that? The package dot JSON start script is nothing but we are telling where our uh, index dot js is present. So for that we just need to copy this and if we open our package.json correct let's edit this we just need to add i'm just adding extra space so that we understand what i have just added i have just added this script the script says this is my uh, starting point okay let's save it server port we have updated and we will do it in uh, let's continue and just we just need to start the npm that's it so let's start it and it says server is up it means on 3003 port uh, which i have defined it should work so let's val validate it so i'll say localhost 3003 okay the server is up and we can also see the server is up here and uh, second thing we have added is the listening is done but on this endpoint I should get this response and I'm getting this response so my basic react based uh, uh, setup is complete okay now what we will do we will uh, uh, we will input our endpoint okay uh, the persisted query which we have created in our react application and we will see uh, how can we hit it and for that in the same index.js right now we are just hitting uh, this endpoint i'm going to do some changes what I, will, I have already copied it I'll just paste it and uh, I'll also uh, copy the URL of my query so I will just copy this URL basically the endpoint I'll change it okay so let's understand this what we have done here again the same thing express server port 3003 and uh, we have the application and we are using the uh, the fetch API here and uh, the URL is this one and since it's a get call so method is get and of course because it's localhost colon 4502 so we need the authorization right so I'm just passing the basic authorization and how can we create this basic authorization there are out of the box tools available uh, but and you we can create through postman also we can create I'll just show you how can we create just for the sake of uh, continuity so through postman also we can create this basic authorization and there are tools also online tools also it's just it will ask base username and password and it will create this so for example this one right i will just use the basic auth it will ask username admin the password is also admin and if i'll just update the request go to headers you will see this authorization extra field just copy this okay if you do not have postman just search uh, on the internet uh, basic authorization one uh, you might you will get a few links where again you will pass the username and password and then it will create the basic authorization okay fair enough and after that uh, we will pass the header authorization basic authorization one and the content type which is uh, 
application JSON. Yeah, it can be application JSON. Okay. Okay, and then this my app, what I have initialized, I will first fetch this URL. Okay, URL is nothing but uh, my persisted query URL. And then I'm just printing the uh, printing this response in the response. Okay, I'm just printing it in the this JSON what I'm getting. I'm just printing in the response and I'm also printing it in console. Okay, let's save it. This is on 3003. Let's go to our let's. I'm using control C because we need to restart. And one more uh, thing we need to do is uh, we need to let's let me pause it. We need to run this command, which is basically to install node fetch because that is the um, uh, that is the module we are going to use. So just we need to use npm install node hyphen fetch. So this will just fetch the node fetch um, module. Okay, and uh, after that we can start it. And this is 3003, which we are running here. Let's open the new file. And now we will run 3003. Correct. And on what we are getting is API slash API slash API. And we should get the same response, whatever we uh, we created in the GraphQL editor the persisted queries. We are getting the same response. This one. If we copy the URL, so this is my response. So in this video, we have seen uh, we created a new persisted query, and then we created a new React-based application, and we use that query in the React-based application. Hope you will enjoy this video. Keep learning. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.